When the Buffalo Bills' DeMar Hamlin experienced a sudden cardiac arrest on Monday Night Football, the difference between heart attack and cardiac arrest became top of mind for the entire nation. But did you know that they are not the same thing? Sudden cardiac arrest is when the heart malfunctions and suddenly stops beating, which is called arrhythmia or an electrical problem. A heart attack is when blood flow to the heart is blocked or what we call a circulation problem. Let's take a closer look at heart attack. What exactly is happening to prevent blood flow? Blockages are usually caused by blood clots in an artery that normally supplies oxygen and nutrients to the heart. Several factors can cause blood clots to form, such as atherosclerosis, which is the buildup of cholesterol plaque, fat, calcium, and other substances that accumulate over time. Smoking, diabetes, obesity, and high blood pressure can also contribute to the formation of blood clots. And sometimes a heart attack can also be caused by spasm of the coronary artery in which it narrows and reduces blood flow. This is most common with people who have a history of coronary artery disease. If you suspect that you or someone is having a heart attack, call emergency services immediately. Prompt treatment is essential to limiting the damage to the heart muscle, and emergency services can provide life-saving treatment such as oxygen therapy, medications, and defibrillation sooner than waiting until you get all the way to the hospital. That said, it's also important to stay calm, sit down and rest, and take any prescribed medications for chest pain. At the hospital, doctors will determine the best course of treatment, possibly blood thinners, stents, angioplasty, or in severe cases, surgery. Cardiac arrest remains a public health crisis. In fact, there are more than 356,000 out of hospital cardiac arrests annually in the United States, and nearly 90% of them are fatal, that is, people die. Thankfully, DeMar Hamlin survived. His trauma certainly highlights the value of immediate CPR intervention. We at the American Heart Association recommend that someone from every household learn CPR and be able to save lives. For more information, check out www.cpr.heart.org.